Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's video, I am going to show you all the things that I have done to improve our air conditioning system on board. From the time I joined on board, I have noticed that our AC is not cooling our accommodation well. So from the return air temperature coming from our accommodation, which is around 34 degrees Celsius, and the cool air temperature which our AC produce is only around 24 degrees Celsius. So I was able to improve our air conditioning system. So right now we are having around 18 degrees Celsius going into our accommodation and a return air temperature of around 24 degrees Celsius. So this is what I am going to explain to you guys all the things that I have done in improving this air conditioning system on board. So come and join me in this new learning. So finally, after efforts of doing a lot of things into our air conditioning system, this has been improved. So right now, it is producing around 18 degrees Celsius and with a return air of 24 degrees Celsius, which has a really big improvement from the time I joined this vessel. So these are the things that I have done in improving this air conditioning system. So from the moment I joined, I have noticed that our refrigerant level is low. So I have decided to do a leak test and check if we have possible leak onto the system. And this is what we have found out. We already found the leak onto the evaporator side. And so we fixed this leak by brazing it. After fixing the leak onto the evaporator side, we have decided to clean the evaporator filters as well as the grills. This is to improve the airflow onto our evaporator section. As per the record, the previous crew installed additional evaporator, but the additional evaporator did not improve the system. So I was thinking that the installation of this additional evaporator did not increase the capacity but reduced the capacity of our refrigeration system so in this way i was thinking that if we had additional evaporator it means that we need to increase also the refrigerant charge on the system so that we will avoid having this ice production onto our evaporator grill so i was thinking if we will charge a refrigerant onto the normal level gauge of our condenser or onto the side glass, this is still not enough since the additional evaporator will expand the capacity of our air condition system. So I charge the, uh, the system with additional refrigerant more than the normal level of the system. Actually, originally, our system is using R22 refrigerant. Since this was prohibited on board, so they changed the system into R417A refrigerant. But changing the refrigerant, they did not replace the thermal expansion of all. So the TXB that is being used onto the AC system is still under R22 refrigerant. So I have proposed to replace also the TXB which is designed for R417 refrigerant. So our air condition system on board is not using an air-cooled condenser but rather we are using a water-cooled system. So we have this central freshwater cooling system which we feed in into our condenser to cool down and to have proper condensation and in this condition we now have a higher temperature that is feeding in into our condenser which is reducing the efficiency of the condensation. 
so i have decided to request the second engineer if we can check the cooling system for you to have an idea about what we are having on board about this cooling system i'm going to explain it to you so now let us explain our water cooling system on board so the vessel is equipped with this so-called sea chest this sea chest is where the seawater will pass whenever we take seawater so from the sea chest the seawater will pass through one of our valves this can be open and closed whenever we want to take seawater but of course since we're taking so we're talking about the cooling seawater this valve designated for the cooling system is always open and then it will pass through one of the cooling seawater pump this to have a circulation into the system and then it will be fed into one of our coolers and the cooler is actually equipped with filter so that we never know how clean the seawater whenever we take and this will be filter, filtered out and this seawater will pass through different plates inside the cooler after that it will then again discharge overboard through the help of this overboard valve so this is the seawater cycle onto our cooling system and then we have this fresh water side so from expansion tank we fill this one with fresh water and then this fresh water will be circulated through the help of this or one of the low temperature circulating pump and then it will be fed into our cooler of course normally our fresh water has higher temperature than the seawater so the seawater will be the cooling agent whenever this fresh water will pass through this cooler so we'll be having an exchange of heat after that it will be circulated back to the expansion tank so this is the circulation of the fresh water but of course this will service different machineries on board like the generators and one of the machineries also included to this one is our AC which the one that we have on the condenser we have the inlet and the outlet and then this will be circulated back onto the system so the AC condenser or the condensation of the refrigerant from our AC will be depending on two factors one is the seawater temperature so if the vessel is in the area with with having high seawater temperature of course this will affect the temperature onto our AC condenser and also the filter of our cooler so if this one is already choked of course the efficiency of the cooler will be less than normal so we need to clean this filter so this is what I have requested to the second engineer to clean this filter so that we will have a proper condensation onto our AC system so this is the actual low temperature cooler on board so shout out to the crew who did the cleaning of our LT cooler filter after opening the cooler this is the condition of the filter it is actually dirty so the efficiency of our cooling system is less than normal so the crew really did a good job in cleaning this filter to have the cooler in good working condition i am so happy that the teamwork in this vessel is very good so we help each other in making or doing the job that we were assigned to after carrying out all these jobs onto our air conditioning system and after cleaning also this cooler our temperature improved so i am so happy and also the crew are happy because the temperature inside our cabin is improved 
so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you